My name is Apsana Begum and I'm the parliamentary candidate for Poplar and Limehouse for the Labour Party and I'm here with Katie who's a worker in the NHS. The NHS was founded in 1948 under a Labour government led by Clement Attlee who was the Limehouse MP for, for the Labour Party. The NHS has greatly suffered under the Tory cuts and it's estimated that by 2023 it will have had 270 million cuts here alone in town hamlets. That's a massive figure and we need to try and make sure that we get Labour government in so that we can make sure we can prevent and stop these cuts. I'm here with Katie who's going to tell me a bit about her journey through the NHS as a worker, as a nurse and also we'll be discussing you know, what the Labour Party manifesto offers. Um, so I got my first job in the NHS in 2004 um, and since then they've um, invested lots of time and energy in training me. Um, I feel really um, privileged and proud to work for the NHS. Um, it, it really does look after people when they need it and my yeah. family and have, have um, benefit, benefited from that as well. Um, it has in that time um, definitely become more and more difficult. Um, the, the stresses are really stark now um, because there has been um, you know a chronic chronic um, underfunding. You can see that um, particularly in the staff shortages. Mm -hmm. um, so in um, just in NHS England there's a hundred thousand um, NHS staff vacancies and um, 43,000 of those are nurses. Um, the demand um, and the care that we provide hasn't reduced. Um, we still go to work every day um, and try and look after people, um, but that does mean that our job is getting harder and harder. And I guess that's what's I guess quite important as well, isn't it? If you look at you know the number of vacancies there are, yeah. why they're not being filled, what's the gap there? Is it that you know people are not being able to get access to training um, and have funded training to be able to train and become nurses, for example? Is that why we've got? Um, that's definitely a, contribu a, a massive contributing factor. So um, when the Tories um, scrapped the bursary, um, it means that people have got to take on um, massive, massive debt to, yeah. to train to do a job which is essentially quite a low income job. Yeah. Record numbers of nurses are leaving the pr profession as well as um, there being um, a uh, shortage of people training. And that's what's great about the manifesto because not only are, is Labour, um, are we as Labour trying to reverse the cuts and ensure adequate funding, we also want to make sure that we provide a uh, comprehensive universal healthcare system um, that is something that actually you know, repeals the Health and uh, Social Care Act um, that's currently um, in, state, um, in state and also um, ensure that you know, we ensure there's a lot of training for nurses um, and you know, it's not just about uh, recruitment but it's about retention as well, so ensuring that they're supported to stay on work, not get burnt out. The fact of the matter is, you know, if we, if people are going to vote for the Conservative government um, to come back in and, you know, implement um, their next policies, we are essentially looking at the NHS being open to private investors. Yeah. And this, you know, this is not free from privatisation, it's going to be actually selling off our NHS. Yeah, that's um, not why most of us trained, you know, exactly. like, that's not what we signed up for. Yeah. Um, at the moment it belongs to all of us, doesn't yeah. it? And every, there's equity, everyone um, gets the same treatment regardless of if they've, you know, of whatever background they come from. Um, and, yeah, that would just change, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. Um, as, soon as, as soon as someone's um, benefiting financially, from the provision of care to people when they're sick, then that goes against the very like core of of the NHS, doesn't it? And yeah. um, what what we're all trying to achieve. Yeah, and you kind of think about you know when the NHS was first founded, in what context, you know, post world context, and like you know the values that the, you know we have and why we kind of formed um, the NHS, the welfare system, and everything like that. And you know you kind of kind of see that crumbling um, mm. if, if uh, the Tory government, the, the Conservatives were to get in. So it's, it's great we've got so many, so many exciting things in this manifesto um, that not just looks after patients but actually looks after workers as well. Yeah. Um, that's why it's really, really important that we all come out and vote Labour on the 12th of December, ensure that we do not have a Tory government implement privatisation of the NHS, sell it off 
um, uh, you know, set off the NHS and make sure that we retain it as um, a public service that is fully funded and um, provides adequate support to workers like um, Katie who's working really hard in the NHS and that's what we're going to make sure we do vote Labour on the 12th of December and make sure we don't sell the um, NHS off um, and make sure we protect it um, and value value it from um, and, and value the services that it brings. Thank you. Thank you.